in the home of the In case y'all was uh, wondering what was going on right here, um, we we're going to talk about our uh, very first uh, Independence Day uh, together as a married couple. Yeah, we had lots of plans for the weekend, yeah. starting Friday. Um, yeah, she'd been wanting to see things. Their fam family didn't really go out and do a lot of things uh, for the for Independence Day, and uh, come down here, she was she wanted to have adventures, and yeah. I told her about all the adventures and stuff that me and my family had. had um, down here and everywhere else I'd, I'd lived over the years and stuff, seeing big fireworks shows and concerts and all kinds of stuff. So I really wanted to see the fireworks on the reservoir. Yeah, we have, a, we have a big uh, big reservoir uh, right here um, near us, and uh, it's really nice. They have uh, a couple of different fireworks shows there, and uh, if it's if it's a good clear night, it's, it's really pretty when it's over top, the fireworks going over top of the uh, reservoir. At, at home in Pittsburgh, they um, would always have big fireworks over the river, and I'd always wanted to do that. I'd always wanted to be on a boat and watch the fireworks from the boat, and never got a chance to do that. So when he said that they had fireworks on the res, I'm like, can we do that? And he's like, heck yeah. Yeah, if the weather's good, we're going to do it. So So that was, that was supposed to be Saturday night. Friday night, we went to um, see a balloon glow, yep. which I had never heard of. I mean... We have uh, you know, hot air balloons and stuff, and around here on 4th of July weekend, we have uh, several different locations where they'll do, do a balloon glow before they have some kind of balloon race. I, I never really paid much attention past the balloon glow, but uh, right, at, right at dusk dark, they would uh, air up all the balloons, and they'd have all kind of different color schemes on them and stuff, and, and they'd have a, kind of a carnival, a uh, small carnival around them, and they'd light them up and let them glow, uh, still attached to the... Uh, attached to their trailers and stuff so they can fly, fly away nowhere. But we'd seen them used to, the, they had them in a lot of different places uh, way out and open, but uh, this one on, on Friday, um, we saw the schedule and stuff and we said we go to there first because it was kind of a bad weather weekend for um, 4th of July weekend. So we said we'll go and try to see, see every attraction we can yeah, every day. Yeah, everything we can do and then whatever, <laughs> whatever we don't make, we don't make. Yeah. So that was my first time seeing the balloons light up. But, um, so instead of actually going up close to the balloons and where the carnival stuff was, we just kind of stayed in the parking lot and his parents, Mama and Papa Brown, brought yeah. pizza and wings and breadsticks and all kind of food and we just sat in the parking lot and ate and I think like We're other people started to get the same idea and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we had like crowd parking people. alongside of us and they were like, we're just going to stay here too, so. Yeah, we could um, hear it. We could hear the carnival music. They had a, a little band and stuff playing, playing down there. But up there where we were all at, we were uh, um, listening to everybody playing, playing the music on their on their um, trucks and cars and stuff. And we just and it was like delayed, so you were like hearing it like an echo of it, which yeah, so. <laughs> was hard to follow along. But it was funny. Right when the balloons were starting to glow, mm -hmm. we had a rainbow overhead, and then it Beautiful. turned into a double rainbow. Yeah, but it was. It was Gorgeous. It was yeah. like from end to end, like a full rainbow. And yeah. I wanted to try to find it. I needed some gold. Yeah, well, <laughs> it stopped right in one cloud, and we're like, well, that's, that must be where the pot of gold is. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just not a leprechaun, so I couldn't go keep <laughs> I'm short. I got that part going for me, but I wasn't green. <laughs> so then after the rainbow went down and it got dark, mm -hmm. they did some fireworks. Yeah, they had a really nice fireworks show there. Um, because we was in the parking lot, I didn't really. We didn't really plan it too well. We didn't think about having a street light right over top of our heads. There was multiple street lights from the from the parking lot. Yeah. That were it was, just, it was a good it was a good show. It yeah. just you couldn't really get not, pictures of it. Not but, good for pictures and video. But yeah, we got we had to see the see them. But every time you try to show a picture of it, all you saw was street light. And, yeah, and the pole that the street light was on <laughs> right in the middle of it. <laughs> yeah. So, but that, that was fun. Saturday was supposed to be the fireworks on the reservoir. Yeah. And it rained all day here. And it was off and on, and it just Sometimes did. was storming, and we were like, we waited all the way up until like the end, and we were like, 
Well, I guess there's not going to be any fireworks at the res, and he just so happened to be on Facebook. And I hadn't seen it. They, they'd canceled them, but I was like, there's no way they're going to have I kept looking on the radar, and it was just constant waves of rain going across the reservoir. I was like, there is no way they're going to have the fireworks go off. And it was right at dusk dark. I saw I saw a friend of mine on on a, the Book of Faces pop up live on his phone. And, there he is watching a whole bunch of fireworks and we're sitting on the couch watching watching his fireworks at the reservoir like 15 yeah. miles the away The one here. thing that I wanted to do, we missed. <laughs> yeah. But that was alright. It was a nice to get some rest because yeah. um, previous to that Michael had ha had been working like every Saturday for a, I don't know uh, how long. A uh, month and a half straight of Saturday, working Saturdays and stuff. So. so it was nice to have that day off. And then yeah. um, Sunday... We went to your parents? Yeah, went to mom and dad's and um, it rained out there so... Well no, it rained here again and we were like, yeah. you wanted to take your um, gun to do some... Um... Yeah, every 4th of July if we, was, <laughs> if we stayed at home, uh, we would have a family come over and stuff and we'd all shoot guns and end up shooting fireworks at, at night at some point on 4th of July weekend. So I uh, was wanting to go but it rained and rained here, flooded and we had lights flickering and everything. And I uh, called up my parents and, and I asked them, I was like, are y'all even going to be able to do anything out there? And they're like, we ain't had a drop of rain out here, so y'all come on out. So she was already, mom was already getting the ribs. Um, was it ribs um, or was it chicken? It was, it was chicken. chicken. She, had a, she was getting the chicken and stuff. I had a chicken marinated ready to throw on the grill by the time we got there. So. Yeah, and we had we took them some stuff. We took corn corn on the cob. What else mm -hmm. did we take? We uh, took a bunch of stuff over yeah. to help Stuff out. for cake. That yeah. we ended up not making. Yeah, and um, Mama Brown made some homemade ice cream, but yeah. you you made your famous, well, yeah. famous, maybe not so famous, but he <laughs> I made... doctored up some some uh, corn on the cob, kept it in a shuck, and and put put some seasoning and stuff on it. And the first time he made it. that for me, like I had never had corn on the cob like that, <laughs> and I thought he's like, I'm gonna put it on the grill, and I'm like, isn't that gonna dry it out? Is because I like me some buttered corn. You know, and so I thought it was gonna dry it out. And when I tried his corn on the cob, all seasoned up, oh my gosh, it was delicious. So yeah, I, I put him in charge of the of the corn when we went to his parents. Fat guy, fat guy working a grill knows how to fix the food every once in a while. Yeah. So that was really good. That turned out good. And, and the homemade ice cream, which was more like, you know, milkshake, but yeah, it was, it's it was more icier than creamy. I yeah. would say. That was my first time having homemade ice cream, but Mama Brown made that and some cookies to go with the ice cream, and that was good. And just in like the, in the meantime, we were hanging out, and um, <laughs> Dad had said something about fireworks, and and uh, Amy goes, "I've never seen fireworks." I just close. wanted to get some sparklers. Yeah, she wanted. She was talking about wanting to get some sparklers and stuff, and Dad's like, "Sparklers? What are you gonna do, sparklers? Make a sparkler bomb with them?" We're like, "No, we're not doing that. Like, we're not kids anymore." And uh. <laughs> So that was like, yeah, you do fireworks and stuff out here. And I, and I was like, I've, I've never had fireworks close to me. We've never really done that. And Dad goes, what? Y'all never done that? Hmm. We had to, we had to change that. No, well, he didn't say anything. Yeah, he didn't lead on that anything was happening. But my brother was was showing up um, right after that. And we're all hanging out. And Dad. They just my, disappeared. Dad loves to disappear. I mean, it just. He's gone like Batman or something like that. You don't know where he's at until you hear equipment cranking up. And I never heard the equipment cranking up. And I was not going outside. It was a bit toasty. It's easy to get lost on their property anyway. So just when when someone goes missing, it's like, oh, uh, they're probably out at the shop or whatever. I just wait for equipment to start cranking or something <laughs> like that. And now I figure out where they are. So uh, so we just disappeared. And, and Mom was, I was, I was busy doing the corn, and you was talking to Mama. Mom was doing all her cooking, so we were back and forth and lost track of Dad and Mitchell. And um, I finally asked, like, where are they? And Mom was like, I don't know where they are. Well, she's like, they'll be back soon. Yeah. She wouldn't answer us. Yeah, she says, oh, she made, she made up a story saying that they was getting something they for the ice cream. Town. Yeah, to get they going to get something in town. So I kind of had a feeling, but I wasn't going to let her know that. I had a feeling that they was probably going to do something like that, and uh, we kept kept on messing around. And just before food got ready, they showed up. They didn't tell her, didn't tell me, and uh, I was trying to. I, I didn't know that they were getting the fireworks, but I had a feeling they was. And uh, sure enough, they bought. Well, we've watched a movie 
had yeah. some ice cream and stuff, watched a yeah. movie, and your brother's like, are Wait you like coming good outside? Dog? Yeah, yeah, he's like, are you guys coming outside? <laughs> We're like, yeah, we'll be out in a few minutes. And his mom was like, spray her down with some bug spray, because <laughs> I'm allergic to mosquitoes, and like, I just so happened to move to like, the mosquito Arf. fest of the United States. Our state bird is a mosquito. Yeah, and I mean, and I get infested with them. I, I, yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm immune to them. So he drowned me. <laughs> it's an <laughs> off deep woods cutter or something like that. It was. Yeah. It tastes just as bad as it smells, by the way. Yeah, I'd say keep her mouth closed. And she was still talking, so I had to, <laughs> had to spray her somewhere. But, yep, yeah, got her off. She was dripping with it. I was too. But <laughs> went out there and stuff, and then but they proceeded to fire off. Four hundred and something dollars with the fireworks. Not quite. It's yeah. Three hundred. Three hundred. Four hundred. Three hundred dollars. Like it was over three hundred dollars. It was a lot of fireworks. <laughs> yeah, they backed out there and we pulled up on our. Uh, um, got a big open field on on our the power line close to my parents' place. And okay, um, we need to leave here with the same amount of fingers we came here with. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm good. You're good? I'm good. You, can, you ain't got... It looks like Easter eggs. I can't even see you in the dark over here. <laughs> Some of them, they didn't have a whole they lot of altitude. <laughs> yeah, they didn't get very high and like they were filling the sky and it was just like yeah. raining uh, fireworks awesome. over top of us. Big shot shells, are, like artillery shells that shoot up and some of them didn't have hardly any altitude to them that they were filling the sky. They were low and it just was like showering us with... Uh, yeah, it was, it was it was really nice. Some of them looked like they were about to hit the power line and the trees <laughs> next to us were like <laughs> Yeah, it was it got exciting. <laughs> oh, that's best. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was one. That's a big one. Yep, yep. It's gonna be big. <laughs> Golly! That was big. Yeah. Happy Fourth of July, y'all! Happy Independence Day. Um, we had some of the fireworks they put them on the ground. And they shoot up. Then we had some. They were out there with Roman candles and playing around with it. With it so. I was going to try to do the sparklers. They did get me some sparklers. Yep, Dad had, had some and but it got all different color sparklers. And Dad's got a 4th of July spirit. Red what color you got? He's out here having blue, blue and green. That's blue. Red, yellow, <laughs> That's what that wire was. Yeah, it's metal sparklers. Yeah. Are they coloring in different colors? Yeah. There you can see it. There's your blue and your green. Yep, you can see them in different colors. Uh huh. But my blue one went out. They don't last very long. No. Oh, the green is fixing to go out. They make great bombs, though. Yeah. I wonder what color a bomb that would make. Slow. Well, yellow one's slow about yeah. burning. The red yeah, is pretty quick. Yeah, but I um, I don't know. I was afraid to be so close to them. My my mom used to when I was little. She used to tie tie or strap the um okay, sparklers. The... Yeah, into the um, tennis racket. Tennis, yeah, yeah, a tennis racket so that I wouldn't get burned or anything like that. But then Mitchell was having fun trying to blow up your mom's water <laughs> buckets. Mom, well, mom has a ton of flowers. It's like, it's like a jungle around the house. <laughs> um, but she has a couple five gallon buckets that she keeps out there that has rainwater dripping off in them. And Mitchell had some M80s and yeah. M150s or something like that. And, and he was lighting them and tossing them out, out there on the parking lot. And I said, don't drop in a toilet like they did in the movies and blow the toilet. Up. And Mitchell goes, well, they are waterproof, so let's see something real quick. So he ran into the corner and went over there uh, by where Mama's fifty or five-gallon buckets are. He dropped one of them in there and goes, poof. And uh, he kept doing that. <laughs> and uh, one of them has a small, had a small little hairline crack in it. So he kept dropping it in there because about four or five of them, it, it landed, I guess, close to the weak spot and blowed the bottom out of the bucket. And and he's like, oh, I guess that was done. So he went to throwing them in the other in the other five five gallon bucket out there. But yeah. That kind of he was running he was running out of fireworks by then. So he was trying to entertain us for the <laughs> the last few fireworks. He had. It was fun, and and I got away with no mosquito bites. 
Yeah, first, sure. first time. I don't think he had any. I don't think I well, They any. couldn't get through the, the <laughs> off deep woods that you were swimming in. Yeah, so. it was a lot. <laughs> Monday, yeah. Monday we just relaxed again. Yeah, we had we hung out and uh, just stayed around the apartment and Anna uh, just did nothing all day. Wait, didn't you make burgers? I think I did. Yeah, I think I made burgers and and uh, fries and homemade fries and stuff like that. I think that's what we did Monday. Yeah. Just uh, had a had good. Our, uh, had our own little Fourth of July. Yeah, had our own here barbecue or had my grill running with the with the burgers and made fries and <coughs> had our own little. Independence Day celebration here at the house. We have so much fun with the fireworks and stuff like that, but <laughs> at the same time That's not really what Independence Day is all about yeah. to us It's a whole lot deeper than than fireworks and burgers and stuff like that and yeah. it's really just it's a celebration of our independence You know, and that's kind of why we like to say that instead of the 4th of July. Yeah, um, it's 4th of July is the date yeah. But the occasion is the end of, is Independence Day, and we're and I mean we're losing we're losing our freedoms more and more every day. What always strikes me as far as you know seeing the fireworks and, and us you know what shooting our guns and stuff and, and and cooking our food and stuff while you're thinking about that, it really hits me when you're watching the fireworks at night, especially over uh, um, like I've I've been to Greeley, Col uh, Greeley Colorado at the uh, Greeley Stampede. And when you're watching big fireworks and you're seeing an American flag in the background, it really um, puts it in perspective that you know the the national anthem is is, is actually a question. You know, is is can you still still see the American flag fly? Because you know when when the uh, Revolutionary War was going on, it wasn't wasn't so sure. The guys that signed the uh, signed the Declaration the Declaration of Independence, you know, they were farmers from from here. And from the United States, and they were fighting the um, the greatest army and the greatest navy to ever to ever um, exist, and they were going up up against them. And, and those guys that signed on that dotted line to to uh, ensure that this nation would uh, would be free, you know, that was a that was a death warrant, you know. And and they was they they was not afraid to to fight to the death. And and most of them that signed the Declaration of Independence, they actually had. Lost everything, including their lives. They, I mean, they had their houses burnt, and some of them were penniless at the end. Um, but we, we built a, they, they built an amazing nation that, even though we've had our dark times, and we're having some pretty dark times now, you know, every every time there's there's a dark time, it's always a question: Can you still see the American flag? And when you wake up the next morning, and and uh, the sun starts shining, if, if you still see the stars and stripes. Doing pretty good. That's that's something that always makes me feel feel proud to be an American. There's still hope. There's always there's always hope as long as we we can't let what they did for us their death be yeah. in vain though, and <laughs> and we have to continue to fight for our independence. It's really important, and I mean it's 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 fun and all, but it's all it's you know it's a real important um, day to to remember the sacrifice that was given to uh, in, ensure our freedoms uh, here here in America. That's what I, what I think about about it. And Next year. Yeah. I'm making our um, strawberry pretzel jello salad. I know you hate, don't give me that look. There's a lot of things in there, in there a whole row of things that doesn't sound good. You, I know. <laughs> you gotta try it though. Ah. You, are, you you never try stuff. You're so bad at trying new things. If and it's not me, me if it's not me potatoes. You make me try new things all the time. Well, yeah, but it's meat and potato kind of, kind of mm -hmm. stuff, you know. I mean, other than the fried okra. Fried okra is not meat and potatoes. <laughs> but it was good though. It was all right. It was all right. At least I don't eat fungus. You know, mushrooms, the fungus, I mean. What is that look for? So that was my first Independence Day being married and down here in Mississippi. Uh, it was a pretty good one, so I don't know how he's going to top it next year. Uh, maybe actually go to the reservoir this time instead of yeah. watching it. Watching somebody else's live feed of the reservoir because they actually stuck it out in the rain. Yeah, can we do it on boat? Uh, yeah, maybe I can find uh, my friends and to run a boat or I can put them in a headlock until they let me borrow it. That'll work. Yeah. Your so, stinky arm pits will knock them right out. Oh, I mean, <laughs> you said it smelled like Doritos one time. So. <laughs> I have no idea where it Okay, I'm... we're done with that. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> until next time. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>
what, did we finish our song, or do you want to sing us out? Do I, I don't think they want to see us sing anymore. I, I, I don't want to say. I know Cora's over there going, will y'all please stop? <laughs>